very powerful um, based around single mothers in Japan and how difficult it is for them to survive at the poverty line. I think this is an issue that is true across the world, but I thought it was very fascinating um, focusing on Japan, which is, different countries have different sort of social safety nets that are not always similar to America. But I thought that what was going on in Japan was sort of um, revolutionary in their uh, approach and trying to help people who are currently not being helped um, adequately. I thought the piece had a, an incredibly uh, professional and sleek look and just was worked well um, as an educational piece and as a sort of an emotional human interest piece with all these women um, telling their stories and the difficulties that they have raising their children alone and, and how much work they have to go through. I think that um, in certain countries and um, in certain places, there is an idea that only a very specific type of person is going through that experience. But I, I think that um, what's being highlighted in this piece is... <coughs> excuse me, um, how universal the struggle is and how poorly I think society in general um, supports women and women's health care and um, women's um, uh, sort of agency while having to uh, work and um, maintain a domestic household. So I thought the piece had a really interesting and educational backdrop and it was just um, well done in terms of professionalism and uh, sleek um, imagery, um, strong um, sort of um, editing that made the piece uh, very easy to get into and, and smoothly move through and just a uh, a litany of uh, incredibly qualified um, people to talk about the issues and um, subjects to talk about the issues from my um, a personal angle. So I thought the piece um, was very well done and very informative and um, really works as a sort of call to action um, as well as an educational piece as to um, what's going on and how it reflects not just in that country but in other countries. So um, I thought the piece was uh, very well done. I think when it comes to Japan, the culture of being a single parent, or honestly, I think in general, just like being a parent, that's not really something that we focus on um, in a worldview and especially in, a, in an Americanized view. That's probably not what we're looking to Japan for, but finding out about, um, you know, how desperate uh, they've put like single parents there, um, what they've put them through and the lack of resources and the f and with these finite resources as well. And um, just the, the lack of, of care from the government and this shifting culture to where it is um, more distanced and there's less community and it's not all like this young man who has helped, uh, who was raised through the help of his community and his neighbors and how that's going away and how the internet's impacting that and how um, women interact with others and like losing this sense of community as a whole. It's really interesting to see. It was super informative and it really leans into this um, emotional aspect for the viewer to where you, you're really empathizing for all these women and um, seeing just the conditions that they put them in. I think it was really, really informative um, from in, in a worldview of learning about Japan, but then also comparing to what we have in the United States and, and issues with that as well. It was just, it opened my eyes to a subject that I wasn't fully familiar with, and it was able to cover so many bases in such a short amount of time and do it in a way to where I want like something to be done. I don't know how I can do that or how that will happen, but I think that's always a good sign of a documentary where you leave the viewer wanting change. Um, so I really want to commend you for that. I want to commend the different storytellers in this, um, the different ways you went about telling this story uh, and retelling these stories. I love the scene placement, the interviews, the stories of these women being interviewed and their stories kind of coming out. Um, and I also loved the professionals that were interviewed and giving their, uh, not really their opinion, but the facts on the situation. And it was very enlightening, um, very enlightening. I didn't realize how many single parents there were in Japan. Why would I? Nobody really ever talks about it. And they don't talk about the, you know, the problems they're suffering, the poverty they're suffering. I mean, it was really inspirational seeing these um children pantries i think it was called child pantries where they were helping people with food and in these children having a place to go to eat rather than go home and not having anyone there which to me is shocking too that you know these kids are basically raising themselves and i really liked the guy who was raised by a single parent talking about his story and how the neighbors really helped raise him and helped 
to take care of him after school when his mom wasn't there, but how the internet has really isolated people and communication skills are lost. But not only that, but then you don't feel like you have somebody to go to. Now, these women, because of how things have changed over the years too, these women now feel like they're the sole responsible, you know, entity and can't really rely on other people and don't want to put that on other people to help raise their child. The government there does not hold these men accountable for paying child support either. And just how these women feel like their hands are tied, because if they don't live with their parents, then they're getting support from the government, but it's not enough to really make it worth it. Um, and when you do live with your parents, you can't get the government support at all. It's just a terrible situation. Okay, so thank you for sharing this documentary and enlightening me on this. It's frustrating, um, frustrating situation. I really hope it gets a big audience um, because it deserves one. I really love this documentary, how they start with an intense testimonial where even the person doesn't want to be recognized due to their story. Um, learning about the Komodo Shokudos and the supports for single parents. The contrast from the rich nation that Japan appears to be as in an in a global scheme it's just very contrasting i learned a lot um how they touch on their resurrection from rubble after a devastating war and how this shaped a lot of the current societal practices um it was interesting to see how Normally, mothers get full custody of the children after divorce, and only a, a very small percentage gets child support. And also, the government doesn't play any role in making sure mothers get support from fathers. Um, this feeds into the murder, suicide, and extreme bullying culture that's growing there. They also give us traumatic accounts of domestic violence and overcoming barriers either by society or their government. These women are just amazing. I learned that they are somehow afraid to ask for help. Um, it looks them seem weak and it's just very, it's a very hurtful situation to be in. Um, so. I hope they are not afraid or embarrassed to ask for help and take, make use of the resources that this people like the showcased in the documentary are, are putting forward. When we think of Japan, we don't really think of single mothers. It's not really what they advertise. What we're told about is the technology, the things to visit, how nice the people are. We don't really think about anything else. So this is very and a very, very important subject to talk about because every country has single mothers. And it's important to figure out how to get them out of poverty. And this documentary showed what these women are going through. They're showing that sometimes they have to rely on the community, that their jobs don't always support being single moms. It was very, very educational to learn about the plight that these women are going through but that they know it's completely worth it too because of their children. Like one woman said she got her kids out of an abusive situation. Another just happened to become a single mother. They went through all the different stories of how they became single moms and that they didn't feel like their country was supporting them. To show that community is now is an amazing thing because like one guy said, when he was growing up, he could rely on the community and it's not so much that way anymore so this documentary really educates on what's going on and the steps being taken to help single mothers or single parents in general the documentary said um one of the customs in japan is that fact that um you're not supposed to ask for help you're not supposed to showcase any weakness um and so even more so, it kind of has this like brush it under the rug mentality where even though people are struggling, they're not allowed to speak out. They're not allowed to ask for help. 
uh, because that would be uh, disrespectful. Uh, I definitely think that that system of, in both places, the system of keeping those who are down down honestly does not work if you want to take that moral high ground uh using for example the unfortunate passing of that mother's child where they essentially were blaming the mother because uh she was at work going well what were you doing why weren't you with your child even though they had created this environment where in order to make sure that her child had food she wouldn't be able to see them for days at a time because she's working to provide food for them uh it just it's just very bizarre how even with different values different traditions uh there's still so many similarities to how things are handled over here. A really well-researched and thoughtful exploration of a really important issue, and um, it's just a really interesting documentary, although at times it is heartbreaking, um, the issues that it explores, and I, I think that's what makes this such an important documentary um, to watch. It's very informative, really well researched. It talks about the issue and the supports that single mothers face. Um, and it's, it's really eye-opening.